Hello and welcome to another KSP career episode with me. I'm your host Gromforx and today we will be building this craft. This craft is the actual space station core with initial components that will be going to EVE and will be housing three Kerbals. Yeah, all in all I hope it will be fun so let's get right into the building. EVE's window is transferring soon so I thought to send beforehand some sort of you know remote probe with some uh, with a space station that we are gonna build. So the whole idea is that this space station should be you know small and modular but it should be good enough that it's launched somewhere into the um, orbit around EVE where you know Kerbonauts can perform science and whatnot and if there is any craft going down to EVE and maybe returning from it well that it can come and hopefully in the future refuel although the refueling part of this station will be happening later on this is mainly the habitat to be able to house the Kerbal so that they can come survive and then continue onwards all right so this is mainly the habitation module, you know, science modules, and I'm actually quite new to building with this pass. It's actually a rather small-ish uh, modules, but I'm gonna build it anyway, and I think it's gonna be fine. So I, I have no idea when it comes to crude flight with Kerbalism, so I'm pretty sure many Kerbals will be sacrificed in the process. But if you guys have some tips what I should really look for, apart from food, radiation shielding, uh, electricity, you know, life support and waste, do let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm a noob, so this will be a sort of an exploration for me as well. All right, that thing being said, now let's continue to the building. I was thinking to actually put, you know, the doors here so that it could be acted as a docking port initially. Uh, and then I realized how likely I am that I will be sending a subsequent craft rather than maybe a brand new space station that will actually do all this shit. Uh, the answer is not likely. So <laughs> this station will probably be in orbit around EVE and it will work as, it, as long as it works and then later on we'll just leave it be. So yeah. Why Eve, you may ask? Because I've already landed on Gilly, I've landed on Duna, I've landed on everything, and uh, as fun as I would really want to have any, you know, ma robotic lander, there is no better thing than a manned landing. However, manned landing on Eve, I mean, Eve is the boss planet of the KSP, and so it's really, really hard to get to. So, eventually, I'm actually, this is sort of a, like a pre planning phase where I'm just sending an empty station that will be assembled, you know, inflated, powered, and then robotically waiting there until the Kerbals arrive. Probably on a big interplanetary ship, hosting everything. And then you ask, why do you, don't you just make this interplanetary ship the transfer? Well, yeah, but it still has to refuel somewhere, I guess. All right. <laughs> I know. Questions that we ask ourselves, yeah, and feels like a monologue, but to be honest, but what can you do? Anyway, I had to start somewhere. So I'm researching various types of modules and whatnot. And uh, in the previous episode, I have assembled, I've made a, you know, jewel probe uh, scanner. And this time I'm wanting to go a little bit more into the basis station building, you know, infrastructure. For the time being, we don't have that many space stations, and I thought I should probably rectify the problem. So, yeah. So, all in all, let's go with the... Where is my Kerbalism? No, this is the remote tech companion Kerbalism. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Electric charge. This is EVE orbit. Yeah, food, storage, duration five days. That's nice. Stress, living space, cramped. Comfort, good. Okay, now we're going from cramped to poor. Okay, that's better, I guess. Maybe in the future I'm gonna send another donut ring or something which will help them, you know, work better. But uh, the thing is, I really need to unlock more of the tech tree and the thing is, the fact that we have only launched, launched a couple of things means that we are still quite early in the in the career yeah I know it's hard to say we're early in the career at 100 episodes <laughs> who does that I have no idea 
Okay, well, anyway, guys, doesn't really matter. Let's just get to the building and eventually I'm gonna have to modify it to make sure that I put some stuff in the inventory. There should be some free spaces, but also I should cram in some stuff. So, okay, let's see. There we go. All right, so if I close down the habitats, it should fit into the some good fairing. Look at this. We have so many spots where they can actually go. So I'm gonna fold everything in. Look at that. Humongous amount of, you know, storage and space in a itty little, itty, 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 tiny, tiny box. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so let's uh, think about this. I want to be placing this one. So I want to turn it that way. And I want to be taking some of the uh, some of the power, yes, and uh, maybe some lights later on. Yeah, that's also one thing I should probably consider. Let's do this, and what I'm gonna be putting inside? A do. That's a good question, and I don't have a good answer to that because everything that I want to be putting can be attached directly. So, okay, solar panels. Yeah, why would I want solar panels on a cargo bay? Um, yeah, I'm starting to question myself. Okay, let's get rid of the cargo bay, put another solar panel. There we go. Perfect. Okay, what else do we need? We need, uh, yeah, we need the docking port. Yes. And we need the RCS. Yes. And we need the SAS. Yeah, I can cram it here. Oh, look, now it's getting shape. Okay, RCS thruster blocks. I probably want to have few because after all, it's a space station. It needs to be able to maneuver willy-nilly. So I'm gonna be placing it somewhere like here-ish. All right. There we go. Looks good to me. So EVE space station mark one. Okay, and I think this is the space station. So I'm just checking with the fairing wise, it should fit in. So now I should probably search for appropriate fairing adapter. All right, so I skipped to the part where I actually selected the fairing adapter. Looks good to me. And look at that. Fairing looks amazing. Look at it, how nicely and how tightly it fits. It's just great. Okay, so let's continue building, shall we? Now we need the reaction wheels. I'm gonna be placing two of those, please. Yeah, because those are actually quite hard and I'm gonna be placing this one and followed by an engine. Okay, let's go with the groups. I want to be placing com antennas first. Yes, two, please. And then I need a smaller antenna. Let's go with the action group. So smaller antenna, I need one of these to be able to, you know, remote ascent. Okay, one, two. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we don't, we cannot uh, automate the deployment of the, um, the balloons. All right, fair enough. Now, okay, let's take those and let's make sure that we place this guy, all right? That's the like the the guppy thruster, okay? And eventually I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be placing this engine. So let's uh, put up the decoupler and let's see where we go from there. All right, so I'm gonna be placing Bagura tank as I always do beneath. And then of course the octopus engine. That's basically a Falcon 9 thingy, so I'm gonna keep with that one. All right, so that looks better, but I need the radial, you know, attachment points, and I'm gonna be placing the Ghidorah. There we go. Two engines, I just need to adjust the height. Once again, going for that Falcon Heavy look. What can I tell you? I'm a sucker for Falcon Heavy. I really like it, you know, I, I dig it. All right, so there we go. Okay, that looks good to me. Tundra and uh, yeah, let's place the Separatrons. This time I'm placing Separatrons because these are really, really close to each other. So Separatrons will do the function of detaching them and making sure that they go each on their separate ways. So yeah, that's kind of important. Okay, 
there we go making sure i have connected everything properly winglets yes please all right almost there one more winglet on the side there we go and then we place the launch clamps oh not the octopus just the launch clamps please there we go okay ready take the, oh, everybody out and let's do the test shall we sorry ooh, oops not q not q yet test simulation three two one go yeah there it goes look at it fly up beautiful all right now that's one sleek looking rocket there we go all right the fairing is quite substantial we are leaning uh, towards east as always 90 degrees we are gonna go for 110 108 ish uh, apoapsis there we go i'm keeping my thrust to weight around one between 1 1.8 and uh, two roughly for as long as i can muster and then i will be detaching the side boosters as soon as we get there so let's see Ooh, what a nice flyby love it all right there we go come on 79 80 90 100 and 106 detach the side boosters bye bye side boosters all right i really love this too many orbits mod it's amazing just press f8 and you don't need to think about anything that's gorgeous right all right so we're going as i said 110 by 110 ish orbit and then we will be going further up so okay now it's time to test everything 20 seconds we have the burn so i really want to ditch the fairing before that all right three two one ditch the fairing there we go fairing goes bye bye and let's hit the engines all right that looks great all right perfect so i'm hoping that i will be able to you know get into orbit on this stage and with some marginal delta v remaining for the ejection to eve okay yeah we have 531 meters per second remaining for the eve ejection burn that's nice all right so tell you what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wrap it up for this episode now we have look 2.4 thousand delta v to get to eve so overall i'm happy now let's just test the systems decouple and test the second stage engine or third stage engine works good let's de test the decoupler let's test the unfold uh, yeah i don't have a probe core on that one Okay, note to myself, do not decouple from the transfer stage. Well, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked the episode, and I'll see you in the next one.